this September, Elie, the Belgian Shepherd, made a triumphant debut at the Olympics of Dog Sports, the FCI IGP World Championship in Slovenia. But behind this four-legged champion is an even more remarkable story, that of his trainer, Wu Jianxing. Wu is not a professional dog handler by any means. He runs a small guest house in Ilan, and he didn't especially like dogs as a young man. But in 2009, his life was forever changed by a stray dog. Today, in our Sunday special report, we bring you a heartwarming tale of friendship, commitment, and an unlikely journey to the global stage. Ms. Luo is at the airport bright and early. She's here not for a celebrity, but for Ellie, the Belgian Shepherd who's returning from an international competition. In September, Ellie and his owner Wu Jianxing traveled to Slovenia to compete in the FCI IGP World Championship, where they won a medal. Hailed as the Olympics of dog sports, the FCI IGP World Championship is made up of three trials, tracking, obedience and protection. If a dog fails to score at least 70 points in any one trial, it is eliminated. Especially with the test of chasing after an escaping suspect, other dogs might need to take five or seven steps before chasing him down and apprehending him. But my dog doesn't. My dog can do it in just three steps. So the audience was amazed. They were amazed at how fast my dog could apprehend a suspect. This was Ellie's first ever appearance on the global stage, and Wu is not a professional trainer. He runs a small guest house in Yilan County. Wu has managed the guest house for over a decade now. As a young man, he wasn't especially fond of dogs and had never owned one of his own. But in 2009, he and his now fiancé found a stray on the street. That was how Latte came into Wu's life, changing it forever. We picked her up in Jiaoxi. She was very weak and sickly. She had so many diseases, and we treated them, spending four months and 40,000 or 50,000 NT. After that, she was living a good life, and so we started to do some things with her to give back to the community. Wu got Latte certified as a therapy dog. Together, they went to social welfare organizations and long-term care centers to bring joy to children and the elderly. My dog, she led me into the world of dogs. The second thing is, she was very smart. I even taught her to speak. She could say, I love you. But all dogs die too soon. Latte passed away in 2017, leaving her family heartbroken. To heal his grief, Wu began using his guest house as a foster home for small strays. He quickly realized that not all dogs were as easy as his beloved Latte. We took in a dog that had behavioral issues. We ourselves got hurt. We wanted to rehabilitate it so that it could be adopted. Naturally, we didn't want the dog to get adopted and then be returned immediately. To give each dog its best chance in a new family, Wu ventured into the world of dog training. Every week, he went to a canine training school in Sanxia, New Taipei. He started out with basic pet training. After getting certified, he moved on to specialized fields like rescue and police dog training. At the time, Ellie hadn't been born yet. We assigned to him a dog assistant, a dog that was already well trained. The point wasn't for the dog to be trained, but for Jian Xing to be trained. The dog trained him. 
A 这只狗啊，就是。I had a Belgian Malinois named A, a big, strong dog. At the time, I felt that whenever A was on a leash, it was like trying to control a bull. I couldn't do it. The dog weighed 40-something kilograms and walked to my left, so of course I held the leash in my left hand. One time after a day at the school, I couldn't even lift my left arm. Wu pushed on, weathering scrapes and bruises. To better understand dogs, he would even fall to the ground to imitate their movements. You have to know how your dog feels and how difficult a task it is for them. Instead of whipping them or punishing them or criticizing them, you have to guide them to accomplish a task. Super, good boy. Oh, how nice! Oh, ah, he just feels that he is very good. Yes, come here. Come here. 对，我鼓励他。我们是刚刚拍，就是有点 buddy buddy， 是兄弟的感情，哎，是队友。Using praise, not censure, Wu hit his stride in dog training, but then tragedy struck again when his faithful dog assistant died suddenly from a heart attack. 我看到他那个时候，他其实是很难过的。我第一次看到他痛苦。I saw that he was deeply distressed. It was the first time I'd seen him cry. He just held the dog and sobbed because that dog was truly exceptional. And it wasn't old; it died so abruptly. I felt that he needed to do something to overcome his sorrow. He later asked if he could have a dog of his own, and that's how we got Ellie. Super, 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 super. As a puppy, Ellie's lively spirit brought Wu back from his grief, renewing his enthusiasm for dog training. 很塞奈，你看塞奈的钥匙啊！好了，我知道你最帅。我觉得他们资质又更好啊，我就喜欢他这种个性。艾莉。Starting from two months old, Ellie was trained for at least two hours a day. During scent detection exercises, Wu would hide three objects in a space as big as a soccer field and ask Ellie to track them down within 15 minutes. Found it? Found it? Here, you can take a look. Very good. Oh, super tricky. His characteristic is that he is very focused. Ellie is special because he has tremendous focus, tremendous power. His movements are extremely quick and precise. The training school saw Ellie's innate talent. Wu was encouraged to take Ellie to qualifiers for a shot at competing internationally. A lot of work goes into qualifying for the global stage. The dog must first pass basic, junior, intermediate, and advanced certification tests in Taiwan. It must also win a national championship. At the time, I thought, yeah, right. There's no way we could go abroad to compete, but he really did work hard, and Ellie was truly extraordinary. So I told him, it's okay. No matter how much time, effort, or money it takes, I will support you, because I think it's a really special thing when someone has a dream and chases it, step by step. It's such a rare thing to see. In pursuit of his dreams, Wu spent two years competing with Ellie in events big and small. At a national competition, he defeated a professional trainer to claim the title and a spot in a global tournament. But the journey to the event had its own hurdles. On his first overseas flight, four-year-old Ellie was confined to the cargo hold for 12 hours. Upon arrival at Vienna, Ellie endured a six-hour drive to the competition site in Slovenia. Perhaps due to the stress of travel, Ellie began to lose his fur, developing a bald patch. When I saw it, I thought, it's stress. There was nothing to be done. He was in a long flight, and he wasn't used to being confined in isolation. In the days before competition, Wu fell ill on the training field after hours of training under the hot sun and intermittent rain. During a training session, I began to vomit profusely. I was like a fire hydrant. My vomiting frightened the other handlers who were so concerned. But the setbacks took the pressure off the big day. During the competition itself, 
Wu and Ellie work the field in complete harmony. Ellie sailed through the tracking, obedience, and protection trials, earning high scores of 77, 70, and 80. Elated from their success on the field, Wu found the courage to propose to his girlfriend of 15 years. He won not just a medal, but also the hand of his beloved. But for Wu, the journey isn't over. He plans to take Ali to more competitions and see the world. He also wants to keep giving back to society. We offer courses to volunteers at shelters. We also go to the homes of dog owners to work with their dogs free of charge. I want to offer classes. It's not just about me and my dog, because Ellie has a bit of fame now and people want to see him, they want to pet him. They say, your dog is so impressive, can my dog be like that? And I say, of course. While not every dog can go overseas to compete, every dog can be as happy as Ellie is and share the same bond with its owner and live each day in comfort and ease. Whoosh. wants to share Ellie with the world to help other dog owners solve hard problems. And with Ellie at his side, Wu hopes to help more stray dogs find their forever home.